question for you. Does God want every Christian to sing? Yes. Does God want every Christian to sing? I was reading this book and I came across this excerpt that I want to share with you. It really struck me because this author asked the question, does God want every Christian to sing? It depends. If singing were an issue of training, technique, vocal range, comfort, or preference, most of us might be wise to keep our mouths shut. The world might be a more pleasant and happier place. Why sing when there are so many who are more gifted and seem to enjoy it more than I do? Here's why. Your voice along with all the other voices in your congregation has been redeemed by the Savior. As we sing, He presents our song to the Father for His glory and for our joy. The human voice given over to Jesus and found in the company of other voices given over similarly produces a dignified and worthy song whether it's in a storefront church or a cathedral. Singing is not an option for the Christian. No one is excused. Vocal skill is not a criterion. No one is excused. Not even those with zero musical ability. The critical question is not, do I have a voice? but do I have a song? And if you're a true worshiper, forgiven and reconciled to the God through the atoning work of Christ, the answers are resounding, yes! It's not a song we originated or created. We can't add to it, change it, improve upon it. It's the song of the redeemed for their great redeemer. And it's a song we were never meant to sing alone. And it's a song God's people have been singing together for thousands of years. Bob Coughlin, the author of True Worshippers. Let's sing about that great Redeemer. He has purchased my redemption, rolled my burden of sin away, and is walking on beside me, growing dearer day by day. That is why I sing. That is why joy is mine. That is why forevermore on the everlasting shore I shall sing of 